we're going to discuss uh, heat loss. Earlier we did a, a video on heat gain, which is dealing with how heat absorbs heat during the summertime and how we need to dissipate it and how heat is transferred through the house based on its uh, uh, structure or the materials the house is constructed of. Same thing applies to uh, heat loss, which is uh, what occurs during the wintertime. Uh, in the wintertime, of course, the temperature drops very low, um, and the temperature in the house will, of course, be warmer. And many times, it has a very high uh, temperature difference based on the indoor temperature and the outdoor temperature. So we look at heat loss. We have to discuss um, the, let's say we take a, a basic structure of a house, and we have ceiling, and the outdoor temperature, let's say, let's go down to zero degrees Fahrenheit outdoors. Uh, the common temperature indoors, this might be a little bit high for some people, but let's just make it very simple, and let's say it's 75 degrees uh, indoors. Thermodynamics says that heat will always travel from a warm source to a cooler source. So in other words, the house inside is warm, outside is cold, so the heat will travel to the perimeter of the house from the inside and out. So we will lose heat. And taking the, the heat transfer uh, formula is that Q equals the Pacific heat. And the Pacific heat is basically the materials of the, uh, the house. Every substance, every uh, different type of materials will have a Pacific heat uh, reading. Pacific heat is basically the amount of energy it takes to raise or lower uh, that substance one degree Fahrenheit based on every pound or we could change it by every square foot of it. Of course, we take a square foot of, of a, uh, a material and weigh it and it would give a certain weight. So either the square feet or the weight of the, of the material. But if we take the, um, the Pacific heat and multiply it by the area of the material times its temperature difference, or the delta T. The delta T is the change in temperature. So the quantity Q, which is BTUs, which is the quantity of heat energy. And what we are doing is looking at how this uh, structure is actually uh, losing heat. Now, one of the laws of thermodynamics says that the, the bigger the temperature difference, the faster you will lose or gain heat energy. So, before when we discuss heat gain, we look at the outdoor temperature of 95 degrees and 75 degrees inside of the structure. And that would give us basically a 20 degree temperature difference. So only 20 degrees difference. But in the winter time, that temperature difference is greater. 75 degrees and zero. So the delta T would be 75 degrees. The area of the square feet of the windows and doors and things will not change from winter to summer. It will stay the same. So that will not affect how the heat is transferred through the house, but the biggest uh, difference would be the, uh, the delta T. So heat gain is based on the materials. Every material the house is made of, the drywall, the studs, the, uh, the joists, the, um, the concrete floor, the wooden floors, or the crawl space, the temperature between it and what the materials are made of will help uh, determine how much heat you need to add to the house to maintain that 75 degrees. See, what will happen is that we like to maintain a temperature of 75 degrees, but we are losing that heat, which will lower that temperature closer to outdoor temperature, unless we add additional heat back into the house. So that's what the, uh, the purpose of a furnace. It could be gas, oil, electric, heat pump, geothermal system, it doesn't matter as long as it can add heat faster than the heat has been removed from the house. Now what will help to retain some of that heat is the material
materials the house is made out of. The better the resistance of the material, the slower it will reduce or lose heat from the structure. So as we look at this, is that if we have uh, resistance of the materials to, to impede or to slow down the flow of heat out of the house, it may be to retain the heat in the house for a longer period of time. So that's very important as technicians or installers or designers because we need to know how large the material uh, is and how it transferred, but also the equipment that we want to install in the house. And the equipment has to be sized uh, to maintain that indoor temperature. If it's too small, of course, it will not. And the colder you get outdoors, the lower the indoor temperature would be. But vice versa, if it's too large, it could be problems too. You'll be able to maintain the temperature, but the problem will come in is that it may overwork the equipment because of the oversize of the equipment. So it's important to understand that the difference is compared to the summer. We had the sun outdoors where we added heat. Solar gain do not uh, affect the house heating or cooling based uh, during the winter time as compared to the summertime. Actually, solar gain helps us. So when it's sunny outside and the windows are open, it actually helps the house because we're sending heat into the house from solar gain. So we had a window, we had sun coming in, we had any heat. So the equipment will work less because at that point, the sun will help us. Unfortunately, during the winter time, it's mostly cloudy. It's not as sunny as we like it all the time. So that's why the equipment has to be designed during the winter time for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario during the winter time to, uh, to make sure on the coldest day of the year, and if it's cloudy or nighttime, that the house still be able to maintain the proper temperature. So heat gain and heat loss is two things that we deal with all the time, but understanding basic heat loss uh, factors is very important. So again, windows will transfer heat differently than insulated walls because the windows are not insulated and the heat travels through it very easily and we can lose a lot of the heat. So what they will do for windows, they will, especially in colder climates or the northern uh, latitudes of the, uh, the country, is that they will put certain type of windows that we call low E windows, but it will have a film on the inside of the window to reflect the heat back into the house and not allow it to go back outdoors, uh, especially when it's cloudy or at nighttime. So they design windows, doors, and other things like that to help uh, make the house as efficient as possible. So heat loss is critical to understand as a technician.